hello in this video we will uh, do the uh, simulation on uh, the what uh, the knuckle joint uh, knuckle joint uh, the knuckle joint uh, that uh, of uh, 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 required size I already made and assemble it in, in CATIA and generate I already generate this I already saved this file as dot stp uh, as we all know that the ANSYS will take the .igs form extension file and the .stp stp um, stp type so now without much delay let's start our uh, uh, let us start our uh, analysis uh, analysis part in engineering data we already said the by default material is we are assuming that is it is an structural steel so ne no need to do any uh, modification on it so i will uh, just unclick it and just i will uh, go to the design model i will open the design model to design modeler <coughs> and from design model i will import the body that is knuckle joint so it is showing red sign it means it's showing busy so it takes some time to open So here it is, uh, we are in design modeler. So now we have to go this file, click on file and go to import external geometry file. After going import external geometry file, we have to go in this PC because I saved it outside of it. So here the knuckle joint assembly.stp file. Okay, don't forget to click on generate so now this is my knuckle joint if you don't know how to make the knuckle joint so i already told you guys uh, how to make this knuckle joint step by step uh, we already made this eye this fork this pin this collar and this pin this another pin so you can uh, follow my videos to make the uh, to make the required size i already uh, mentioned the what size we are making so uh, you can go my playlist in Katia tutorial in uh, same YouTube channel. So now uh, after importing this, I am to view uh, in I am choosing this frozen body transparency on clicking it. Now this is my uh, knuckle joint assembly. So now after importing file, we all know that how what to do. If you follow my previous video, then go to model. It will uh, again take some time because here it is showing starting mechanical uh, model. So it will take some time. Uh, it is showing red means it is busy on starting. So don't do anything for OK it is started here now we are in mechanical part so it will take some time mechanical enterprises so this is my knuckle joint part if you go to this geometry it will show me this is part 3 part 3 which one part this one this is I will rename it rename as a pin one okay this one is pin two two and this is an I end this is I, this is fork. So I will rename it as a fork. Fork. Okay. Structural steel. Structural steel. This is also structural steel. All is of type structural steel. So now 
this fork is also structural steel so now it is showing in geometry is shown me uh, the tick sign means uh, now it is completed so in this uh, we are doing contact analysis it is in the it is uh, in this video lecture we are doing contact analysis in this before two and more part are connected so we are doing some contact analysis before doing a contact i would like to show you some of the this uh, it uh, indirect it directly shows this in previous video we do not see this connection option now we will see the connection option so coordinate system no need to do anything in connection system it is already shown here and go to this contact in this contact here scope and auto detection phase range include all ok connection 7 connection active connection ok ok all body geometry selection tolerance slider use ok go to tool to view the what type of connection is there so you can go to the option and in connection it is shown here that is default connection is type bonded type connection so you can change it by here that what is no separation frictionless rough and frictional we will do in uh, some later class for about this frictionless and another so uh, we will do for for now for this video we are doing on bonded uh, type of contact so click ok now uh, the contact is generated automatically by the uh, by the ansys ansys but we can also generate our own contact but it is time consuming uh, the ansys uh, ansys is directly explicitly uh, ex uh, implicitly given us the contact and so no need to worry about it so in this the i want i am saying uh, one important thing this red part is pin 1 and this uh, blue part is collar so the red part always is a is represent the contact body and collar part always represent the target body so the contact body always uh, should less uh, stiffness than the uh, target body target body so this is one thing and uh, i am talking about uh, let me talk about uh, contact you how can you make this contact uh, uh, contact uh, what uh, by your own how can you generate your own contact so you can rename it also by you can rename it uh, this you can rename this contact also so you can but it is time consuming so i am deleting this contact now to uh, to generate my own contact i am deleting is and i will in go, i'll go connection and insert and co co uh, connection group and i will go contact uh, okay okay let me say one thing i want to say one thing in connection right click okay manual contact region you can do this manual contact by yourself also but it is um, time consuming so no need to do so uh, we will choose uh, the uh, by default contact of ansys so now delete this contact also so now i will go to the contact to automate to connection group and then go to and create automatic connection so in connection it is already shown here so what is this now after uh, it is uh, showing me uh, tick sign it means there is no problem now uh, come to the mesh and go to mesh and update and uh, this is a by default uh, mesh of the ansys so no need to do any local meshing also so after meshing you have to go here static structural insert 
fixed support which one is fixed support i am applying just face i am saving this one as a apply as a fixed support and now go to this and insert force i am applying the force of go to component and what is x direction what this is an x direction so i am applying in negative x direction i am applying minus 20 kilo newton 20 uh 1 2 3 for kilo newton another one is rammed so no selection uh it is already selected apply no selection okay apply now you can see the force is acting uh in opposite direction of x so after uh, go here and after applying the force uh, go to the solve now it is uh, not showing any problem now we have to move for the solution go to the solution information go to insert go to deformation uh we'll take a total deformation now again go to here insert stress i will take bone misses and go to insert strain and there is a new uh, for this contact tool go to contact tool okay now in contact tool for this all contact it will showing us so now insert what is what is frictional stress okay now go to solve so now what is our total deformation total deformation is of uh, 0.21059 maximum now you can see the animation this is the effect of force now you can see stress stress uh, generator is 64.808 mega pascal okay now you can uh, status and the status tool will show us uh, the only in contact point what is here in this uh, what is this uh, how are the um, uh, what is the effect of force here it is showing here in status now in frictional stress it will show in contact part in this part what is the what is the stresses so we can see by this air now with increase in uh, uh, load it also increasing so in this way we can do the analysis for the contact analysis we, in this way we can do the contact analysis uh, thank you thank you all